The Indian state of Kashmir needs no introduction when it comes to art and culture. Over the years, artists in the valley have carved a name for themselves, but no art gallery to showcase their work is proving a major drawback. Vyond's Ishan Wani has this report. Kashmir, over the centuries, has produced both world-class art and artists. Much of its heritage has the deep impact of art that has travelled from Iran and other parts of the Middle East. Artists like Ghulam Rasool Santosh were among the first to establish their name among the painters from the valley. Rasool's paintings are known for their vibrant colours, neat lines, spiritual energy and sensuousness. But in the contemporary times, artists in the valley have been pushed to the wall. There is no art gallery to showcase their work to the outside world. Most of these artists travel outside the state to display their masterpieces. When Mushtaba Rizvi completed his degree in management of innovation from a London university, he decided to head home and set up a space for artists of the valley. Kashmir has a very strong undercurrent of creative professionals. A lot of artists are doing exciting work. A lot of Kashmiri artists are based around the world. Uh, but there is actually no physical space, no proper infrastructure for the artists to show their work and to engage with the, with the local audience. In 2015, Mujtaba opened up his dream space, which he named Gallery One. He tried to bring artists together from the region with an aim to showcase their paintings, sculptures and other concepts under one roof. But it was closed down after some time. Now, his restaurant showcases several artists' work. I was studying in England. I came back uh, with a master's and I tried to start uh, what was at that time the Kashmir's first ever uh, art gallery at the Centre for Contemporary Arts and Research. It was called Gallery One, but unfortunately, uh, less than two months after we opened, the gallery was vandalized, it was shut down, and to this day, it's 2018, we now again still don't have any art gallery in Kashmir. Interestingly, after the National Gallery of Modern Art in New Delhi, Jammu and Kashmir Cultural Academy has the highest number of artworks. Covered by the dazzling maple trees, Kashmir University's art department is one of the renowned places for artwork. Unfortunately, in this state, I don't think, except uh, with the exception of academy, there is any kind of a collection that government has taken care of, like, uh, or they have any kind of a space where they could uh, showcase the work of their own uh, artists who are like sons of the soil. From the year 1969 to 1970, Kashmir organized the first art camp where artists like M.F. Hussain participated and displayed the magic of their brush. Norshad Gayur is among the top artists in the valley. His work is on display in Bahrain, Canada and London. Norshad shares the plight how the value of art is fading in the recent times. So that collection is lying with the academy. Even academy people doesn't know the value of that collection. So obvious when they have not displayed those works how people of our Kashmir will come to know what treasure we have so that's the basic problem is gallery and since many years government is saying here that we will construct they have given many proposals but nothing happened Kashmir needs no introduction to the world of art but over the years there has been this growing isolation among the artists they say without the art gallery they are unknown to their own people of Kashmir Valley and often these artists have to travel to outside countries and world to showcase their work. The camera person Feroz Ishanwani for Vion in Srinagar. <laughs>